nobody here. I must be too early. Hey, everybody here? Everybody except Freddy, Doug. Late, late, late. Always late. That frog couldn't be on time if he was standing on a clock. Now, y'all, hush, Charlie Wiley. Perhaps Freddy doesn't know was steady, but he's seldom late for a picnic. Well, about our picnic, now, remember, we all agreed to have our chores finished first. Is everybody done? I'm done. Oh, Where is it go? Freddy? Wait for me. Haven't had time to finish my chores. How can little old Freddy move so fast and still be so slow? Doesn't know the meaning of time, that's why. I'll be with you as soon as I finish raking up the leaves. Gosh, Doug, he sure picked the wrong time of day to rake leaves. You feel that wind coming Boy, up? I sure do. Freddy, you don't have time to rake now. Pick up those leaves now before... Oh. Freddy! Oh, no! Before what, Doug? Uh, Freddy, about raking up the leaves, forget it. Yeah, look, they're all gone. The wind did it for me. Wow, talk about timing. La 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 It's the news in review, coming right at you. With three delightful animals, at fun with what they do. They learn with their friend Doug, and his helper Emmy Joe. With Freddy! Charlie! <laughs> We have fun learning what we don't know. Delicate and feminine is Henrietta Hippo. Very wise and very smart is Charlie the Owl. Woo! Not so smart and lots of part is Freddy the Frog. It's quite an unusual thing. The animals talk and sing with Doug and Emmy Joe. Every day's a different show. It's a news to review. Coming right at you, it's the news review, coming right at you. Well, Henrietta, looks like all the chores we had to do for cleanup week are finished, except for, uh, one, two, five jobs. And I'll bet my last Confederate dollar that Fredip's chores. Oh, I'm sure he'll get them done in time for our picnic. Well, he better hurry or there won't be any picnic left, Henrietta. Oh, doggy <laughs> poopsie, I was, uh, just biting my fingernails. I didn't say that. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi, Freddy. Well, see, I told you Freddy would come through. Now we can check off your chores, right? Wrong. I didn't have time to do them, Doug. In fact, I just don't have time for time. No time for time. Preposterous. She's right, Freddy. Everybody has time for time. You can't help it. I can. Sure you can. We all can. All you have to do is...
Go to school, do my chores, play, study, visit friends, play and dream and wow! Before I know it, my time's all used up. Then maybe I better explain. There's 24 hours in every day. Use them all as wisely as you can. If you say you'll do something, do that something. The very, very best that you can. Use your time wisely. Use your time wisely. Use your time Too. Oh, what's that, Freddy? You know all that time I got? Well, I used it all up and now I'm all out of it. <laughs> there ought to be a 48-hour day. Oh. Make it 49. Easy, Freddy. I bet you could do just as much in 24 hours as you could do in 49 hours. If. If. I knew there had to be a catch in it. Use your time wisely. Use your time wisely. Use your time wisely. <laughs> and maybe this will help too, Fred up, honey. It belonged to my great granddaddy. It was a present from General Robert E. Lee. Gee, <laughs> it really is an old timer. Oh, yes. It's seen good times and bad times, but it's always been able to keep up with the times. Well, Freddie, now that you know how to use your time wisely... And you have a timepiece to watch your time, you're all set. Except for just one thing. Well, what's what's that? that? I can't tell time. Preposterous! <laughs> I think that I shall never see anything as smart as the tree. What's so smart about a tree, Freddy? Oh, hi, Emmy Joe. Hi. You know, I just figured out that trees are very smart. They can tell time. They can? Now, how did you figure that out? Because they know just what time to blossom and what time to shed their leaves. So? What's so great about that? Because they can tell time, that's why. And they can't even talk or see. And even if they did, they don't have a watch like I do. Naturally, but a tree doesn't need a watch. A tree has a built-in timepiece, Freddy. No kidding. I don't see any built-in watch. Freddy, it's not like a watch that you can see. But everything in Mother Nature has this natural watch. Like the stars know when to come out at night. 
Except when it's raining. Well, except when it's raining. And the sun rises in the morning. And even the smallest bugs and insects have a built-in timepiece. Really? Sure. They know when it's time to eat and sleep. And they know when the seasons are going to change. It's called instinct. Mother Nature's timepiece. I'll get it. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, hello. Yes, it has been a long time. Oh, I've missed you, too. Well, I've been sort of busy. What? Tomorrow night for dinner? Yes, I think I can make it. Oh, I can't wait, either. Oh, see you then. Oh, you want to talk to Emmy Joe? Oh, okay. Emmy Joe, Emmy Joe, it's for you. Thank you. Hello? Oh, hi, Mother. Yes, I will. A loaf of bread and two, four quarts of milk. I should invite Henrietta also? Well, then I better make that four gallons of milk. Fine. See you soon, Mother. Bye. I've got to go now, Freddie. I'll see you later. Mother's very pleased that you're coming for dinner tomorrow night. I hope Henrietta can make it. <laughs> As Charlie would say, neither snow nor rain nor sleet will keep that hippo from your mother's dinner. And on time, too, I'll bet. See you later. Oh, darn. There's that word time again. Freddie, are you wasting your time again, huh? Oh, Doug, no, I wasn't wasting time. I was trying to find out how to tell time. Oh, uh, for a second I thought you were looking for the time you already lost. Get it? Looking for the time you lost? <laughs> Ooh, if that was a joke, Doug, how about telling me what time I should laugh? Uh, I, I guess my timing was a little off, huh? <laughs> That's okay, Doug. But will you teach me how to tell time? Well, gosh, I'd like to, Freddie, but not right now. How about a little later on, when I have more time? In the meantime, you could ask Charlie to help you. He's the time expert anyway. See you around. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Come on, time, let's march on and go see our fine feathered friend. Hi, old timer. You tell me how to tell time? Go away, get hopping. Got no time to chitty chat. Can't you see I'm inventing a clock? Boy, you sure are behind the times. The clock's already been invented. Not a self-winding, self-cleaning, self-thinking, and self-talking clock that tells you the time. Hop and hop, Toads. Let me at it. What time is it? What time is it? Won't you please tell me? Tell me the time. Is it time to go to bed? Or time to rise and shine? Is it time to eat my dinner? Or time to have a snack? I don't know what to do, and that's a fact. Boy, oh boy, this is some clock. What do you have in your head, Fred? Rocks? Now watch this. Tell me the time. Is it two o'clock? Incorrect. Then it must be eight o'clock. Day or night? Day well, if you're so smart, then tell me the time. It's 12 o'clock noon. Now I feel fine. See? I told you it works. That's great, Charlie, but I want to be able to tell time myself. You heard him, clock. Start teaching. Talk, talk, talk. When the big hands on the 12 and the little hands on the 3, it's a 3 o'clock. Simple. Now tell me the time, ready? Right now. It's 12 
Self-cleaning, self-thinking, self-talking clock! Gee, I'm sorry, Charlie. I guess its time was up. It wasn't until you showed up. What'd I do? What'd I do? Just being you, that's all you had to do. My fantabulous clock was waterproof, shockproof, and fireproof, but it wasn't... It wasn't what, Charlie? It wasn't frogproof! <laughs> Well, I guess we have everything we need for the picnic, Doug. Everything except the most important item, and propellant. <laughs> it's all my fault. I'm to blame. What for, Charlie? Teaching Freddie how to tell time. That's what. Well, that's simply wonderful. You mean ridiculous. Now we have a flipped out frog trying to make up for lost time. Look. Another day will be gone before you know. 
He's taking your advice to slow down. Well, heavens to Sleepy Hollow. He done slowed down to a complete stop. <laughs> Freddy. Freddy, wake up. Hey. Oh, oh, hi. How come you're sleeping on the job? My job's finished, so now I have time to spare. <laughs> <laughs> Just an eensy weensy portion for me, Dougie Poo. <laughs> I'm on a diet to keep my girlish figure. Uh, sure, Henrietta, you just say the word and I'll stop. Shall I stop? I didn't say the word. <laughs> I hope Freddie will be on time this time. <laughs> he is. Freddie, what are you doing with all those clocks? I just want to make sure I have lots of time. Even on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you just wanted to make sure you'd be on time for the picnic. Dolly, no. I wouldn't need these because I've got a special clock for that. It's in here. My tummy always tells me when it's time to eat. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. It's a new zoo review coming right to you. Every day's a different show.